Yeah. Hello, Richard. How are you, Greg? I'm all right, thank you. I'm very excited. Are you? I'm very excited because my programme just won a BAFTA. Uh, yeah, we, we said that. Don't over-egg it. Oh. What are you here for? Well, We're I'm here, here to, to meet the nominees, aren't we? Um, yeah. All right. Here they are. Hello, everyone. Hi! 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 Potentially, congratulations. I haven't got one yet. No, I know. <laughs> I said potentially. No, the hair. The hair. Oh. That's great. Good. Gosh. Good, baby. Just so cool. Zoom Hello. is great for banter, isn't it, Greg? I, I'm going to go straight to the... Um, I'm going to go straight to the scripted stuff, oh, if mate. that's all right. But I'm going to do it in a seamless manner. Go on. Hello! Women in comedy are at the vanguard of the best work being produced today. Female-led shows rightly dominate any sensible discussion on originality, and it's a great thrill to be asked to present the BAFTA for best female performance in a comedy. BAFTA is keen to celebrate all four of the nominees in this important category. And you know how I know that? Because they are watching in from the safety of their homes, whereas I am here in a studio during a global pandemic. I suppose I should just be grateful that I wasn't asked to present this whilst teetering on the edge of an active volcano or panic surfing on a tsunami. The message is clear. BAFTA has its favourites and the rest of us are nothing more than cannon fodder. Iowardi thinks this is a career high for him. It isn't, mate. We're both collateral damage. The moment there's a vaccine, Norton will be parachuted straight back in. Where's Norton? Is he here? No, he's not. He's at home wearing a mask where it's safe.